Like many of you, I've gone through several commercially made and shop made shelf pin jigs over the years and still managed to come up with rocking shelves. Now I use the Rockler Pro Shelf Drilling Jig and things are a lot more stable in my cabinets. This jig has sliding aluminum channels for adjusting its width at the top and bottom. And along each side are quarter inch thick acrylic plates. Each of the plates has a center hole and eight equally spaced divisions above and below that. The holes are spaced away from the guide bars by 37 millimeters or 1 and 7 16 inches. And those holes are spaced from each other by 32 millimeters or 1 and a quarter inches on center. The only real choice you have to make during assembly is whether to install the guide rails with this rubber strip facing in or out. I built mine with the rubber strips facing in, so when I squeeze it on the wood, it gets a better grip. To set the Rocker Pro Shelf drilling jig up, we start by making a mark at the center of the board or the center of the area where we want the shelf pin holes arranged. Then using a square, draw a simple line across that center point. We can use this line for aligning the jig. Now you just set the jig in place, make sure the guide rails are up against the sides of the workpiece, and then slide it until the zero mark is on that center line. Make sure the guide bars are firmly against the wood and tighten the locking knobs at the top and bottom of the jig. And now it really is ready to be used. I like to add one little step more just for a little extra security. I had one speed clamp near the bottom just to secure the jig so I can't bump it out of alignment while I start drilling. This is the quarter inch centering bit that I use with this jig. They also offer the same thing in a 5 millimeter. Inside this spring loaded housing is a real brad point bit that drills very clean holes. The step bushing at the end of the housing fits the holes in the jig very closely. The quick connect shank is designed to fit all the common quick connect chucks. And now you're ready to start drilling out the shelf pin holes. I like to drill the first row at the top of the jig and then stop for the time being to insert the pins. Rucker includes two quarter inch diameter alignment pins that I'm using now to lock the jig in place. They also include two five millimeter alignment pins that I have stored in the bushings in the end of the jig. And now we can go ahead and drill out the rest of the holes without worrying about the jig moving at all. The spring loaded collar is designed to expose the proper amount of bit to drill the right depth hole for shelf pins. This bushing in a jig lets you drill these holes very quickly yet very accurately. And when we start moving towards the bottom we can remove that hand clamp that we placed there earlier. The alignment pins will hold the jig in place now. And if you took your time using the Rockler Pro Shelf Drilling Jig, the holes should come out perfect every time. I've checked a bunch of the holes on this board and others and they always come out square to the edge and that's really important because if they're both square to the edge the shelf doesn't rock. If you drill shelf pin holes and want to eliminate rocking shelves you need to take a long hard look at the Rockler Pro Shelf Drilling Jig.